Marion University, uh, first game ever. Uh, you lost to Linwood, uh, um, but uh, tell me a little bit, first of all, uh, about the experience. <laughs> Incredible experience. I mean, Linwood's a great team. Um, and we put our heart and soul into the game. Um, obviously, the result didn't, you know, I don't think it showed what we can really do. Um, but, you know, we're just going to keep building from where we are now. And, you know, hopefully next time that we do come in, come to a game against Lindenwood, we'll be able to, you know, give them more of a fight and, you know, show them what we're really made of. That's the best uh, I'm sure we'll see this year. I'm glad we started it at uh, the beginning of the season. The season. Uh, we got nationals in the future, so it's just getting us prepared for that. So you, you saw what the standard was, right? Yeah, that, that, that's honestly what we expected. But to be honest, I mean, we put up a good fight. We expected, like, like, like we said, we came in expecting to win. But obviously, you know, like we got to work harder. It's a the number one program in the nation, so they it's their B side. So you know, they're getting gassed every practice by the, the starting side. But as Marion Knights, you know, we put up a good fight. I mean, we got so much more left to do. Like we're just getting started. I mean, it's a blessing even to be here. So. I mean, just keep staying on the lookout for us. I mean, we, we should be on, on the top of our conference, and I'm saying that in the most humblest way, yeah. I, I got to say, it looked to me like you guys wanted to get that try too much. Probably should have gone for points. You could have gotten probably 12 out of it uh, uh, today. I mean, is that is that sort of a – there was a little bit of emotion there because it was the first game? I mean, I mean, absolutely. But, I mean, when, you, when you're so many points down, going for, point, going for three points at that point might not be the best decision. You've got to catch up some way. And um, – you know, we already had some points on the board, so what's another three? We needed to catch up. Um, I just want to say I'm super proud of the boys. Um, they put in a good shift today. And uh, at times, like, we were holding our own and, yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, we've never seen this high level of competition before, so we were just seeing, seeing what we got, testing the waters a little bit, and getting into it. So just excited for the season. What, what, what was an eye-opener? An eye-opener? The intensity. The intensity, if we came out with better intensity, and then like, you know, like you said, we could have went for points in situations we could have, you know, like just to get more points on the board. And then now once we score, because you've seen once we scored, the intensity level raised for us. And now we were, we were popping just because we scored a conversion. But think about it, if we would have made more, our intensity would have been up. But like I said, we played ahead of a game. I mean, we still feel like we got a lot more left in the tank, so we'll get there. Yeah, yeah interesting story. A couple of you, uh, you're a cyclist, right? Uh, you, 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 you were at Marion to, to, to ride bikes. and Yeah, so well. back home I played for a few years as a kid, like 10 years as a kid, and then I stopped around 14 years old. So this is my first time back in the field in eight, nine years. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to be back. I did miss the game. Uh, it's a beautiful game. Um, but where, it is, did you, where did you play in, in, in England? Oh, at Bolton. Bolton and near Manchester. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been nice to get back out and you know get hit. Um, I mean, one big surprise for me is there was bigger bigger people than I am. Like I thought I was a big boy, but you know some of those boys are bigger than I am and move way quicker than I am. So I guess I've just got to expect that for next time. That's good. And you, a little story here. You you, uh, you played rugby. Uh, played rugby for uh, yeah. John and uh, at, at Fishers. Yes, sir. And then yes, sir. Uh, and then took a break because you were playing other sports and so you're back it's been a few years right yeah I mean I focused on wrestling because I saw a lot of potential in that field and coach Harley kind of saw me as a wrestler and so he saw like I was a physical athlete so he uh he recruited me on the team and I've just been transferring everything from wrestling to rugby on this field it's a great opportunity god bless and thank John Harley go Knights <laughs> and and you've got some guys who are new to rugby right right, right brand new to rugby right uh, you know, how, how do you incorporate those guys in with, with the guys who are more experienced? Uh, first, we, we have to lead by example. So uh, the ones who are new to rugby, I mean, they ask a lot of questions. A lot of questions to the point where it get like <laughs> frustrating a little bit, you know? But <laughs> we, they got to start from somewhere because we all were new to rugby once upon a time. And like, uh, we just got to, they got to continue to be coachable. We got to be coachable by them sometimes too, because sometimes they see stuff that we don't, you know? So that's just what we got to keep doing. All right, so it was a loss, not the result you wanted, but at the same time, uh, a big day for Marion. Get on the board, uh, get on the field, and uh, put those jerseys on. So congratulations. Guys. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Much. Appreciate it. Boom. You said you're I know.